आथा योगा अनुशासनम नमस्ते वेलकम टू अनरावल द थ्रेड a podcast for people who want to apply the yoga sutras to yoga practice and to life today available online at simple-yoga.org where you can also find courses articles videos and guided meditations to enrich your practice i am ruben vasquez your companion on this journey of exploration On today's episode we continue our journey through the second chapter of the Yoga Sutra with the third sutra about asana sutra 248 This sutra says as a result evenness beyond dualities The third sutra related to asana indicates the results of the practice leaving behind the play of opposites Once again The Yoga Sutra offers a two-fold approach combining being with doing, resulting in joyful ease. This approach, when presented in chapter 1 as the combination of practice, abhyasa in 1:11, with detachment, vairagya in 1:12, was said to bring about stillness to one's ways of being. Sutra 246 invites you to consider a specific way of doing that integrates firmness and ease into either firm gentleness or gentle firmness sutra 247 contributes a way of being combining a release of all struggle with continuous focus this sutra presents the results of combining these ways of doing and being you free yourself from gravitating toward the endless play of opposites like good bad hot cold and like dislike in addition to connecting to the notion of yoga as being in sutra 12 and yoga as doing in sutra 21 this verse connects to the threads related to likes and dislikes at the beginning of this chapter in sutras 23 to 7 and 28 Likes and dislikes play a major role in generating reactivity and agitation. When you are endlessly unified, you transcend your limited sense of self defined by the temporary ebbs and flows of your preferences. You move your fundamental sense of identity beyond the major duality between I am this and I am not this. This happens when you are in meditation. or dreamless deep sleep and your physical boundaries become blurred so that there is no sense of inside and outside even the need to try to make the distinction at all vanishes there is only being everywhere notice how you may be engaged in a constant process of creating distinct categories For instance, to understand ourselves better, we divide ourselves from whole beings into body and mind, body and spirit, into a whole set of systems like musculoskeletal, neurological, respiratory, digestive, endocrine, etc. These separations are useful in understanding some aspects of ourselves. yet our experience is always whole complete and indivisible even the distinction between life and awareness is only useful as an analytical tool because life and awareness are in constant interpenetration thus it is instrumental to remember to reconnect to your wholeness and completeness what are the dualities that influence your understanding To what extent are I and not I useful categories for enhancing the quality of your life? Is it possible that there are areas in your life where attachment to your sense of self spins you into an endless roller coaster of dualities? What is the relationship between dualities and preferences in your life? Are there some dualities that trigger your actions and reactions? 
What dualities emerge as you practice your yoga postures and movements? Do dualities serve as a filter that colors your interactions? Could it be that some of the struggles you face come from being caught in the game of opposites? As usual, one more way of exploring the meaning of this sutra is by chanting it. You can choose to chant it in the traditional way, with some of the words coming together. Tato Tuan Duana Pikata. Another option is to chant each word in the sutra individually. Tata Duan Duam Ana Pikata. Tata Duan Duam Ana Pikata. Tata Duanduam Anabhi Kata Tata Duanduam Anabhi Kata Tata Duanduam Anabhi Kata Thank you very much for listening. I hope you can join me for the next episode when we will continue by exploring the sutras about pranayama, starting with Sutra 249. Please remember that you can find more information, yoga courses, and many free resources, including articles, videos, and guided meditations at simple-yoga.org. I would appreciate it if you could share this podcast with others. Thank you. Until next time, Namaste.